everybody. Hi, everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. All right, everybody. So this is a video I have been wanting to do for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to it. You know, it's just one of those things. It's kind of sort of a difficult subject. Um, so I just want to dig into it a little bit. It's not going to be a long video, but I did want to talk to you. We're going to talk to you about what's going on with gratuities on the cruise lines. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about what the gratuities are and kind of sort of how they work. And then we'll go into a little bit deeper detail and kind of let you know the dirty secret. Um, or secrets. <laughs> with, with gratuities in the cruise line. Yes. So the gratuities, for the most part, are your way of uh, extending your appreciation for the service you re received upon the ship. Mm -hmm. um, it is the monetary compensation that you're giving to, usually it's your room steward, uh, your waiter, sometimes the maitre d', and other staff members that you might feel uh, did a good job and provided a service for you. I think it's a kind gesture. Yeah, and for the most part, guys, especially when you're talking about your room steward and your dining room staff that is the lion's share by far of their salary or money that they get on board the cruise ship mm -hmm. so they depend upon your generosity uh to make a living for themselves and their families okay that sounds good uh, that that's got me going because i need to know what gratuities are paying and i'm sure you're here to hear the tea too <laughs> yep so and then other forms of gratuity that you can have on board the ship are if you get a beverage package. Okay. Uh, sometimes the beverage package will charge up upfront gratuities on there, which is your compensation to the bar staff. Okay. Uh, same thing with specialty dining; they put mm -hmm. they add that on there because um, that is the gratuity for those different waiters that you may not have during your regular dining service time. Okay. Um, if you don't have those things, and you just go to the bar to order a soda, a juice, uh, alcoholic beverage, you will see a gratuity on there, which is for uh, the bar staff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also additionally tip them a little bit more on there if you'd like to. Wow, that's a lot of tipping. So moral of the story, a lot of these people on board the ship uh, thrive from your generosity. Okay, so now let's get into it. So old school, back in the day, cruising mm -hmm. uh, you would go to your cabin and enjoy your cruise and somewhere around the maybe third or second last to last day when the fun is about to end yep <laughs> the your cabin steward would put some envelopes in your cabin and or you could go down to guest services and get some of the envelopes as well yeah they had like a little box that you can pull from or they had like this plastic thing that you take it out of and it was very convenient yeah and uh the thought process behind that was they the cruise line would give you a suggested tipping amount yes for the crew they uh, would encourage it yeah they would say you know for your uh for your cabin steward we suggest this much per person per day mm -hmm. for your dining room staff we suggest this much per person per day and they would break that down by head waiter assistant waiter your maitre d so you, you know you had your 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 cruise a week and your service and you could tip accordingly and put the money in there uh the suggested amount a little bit more a little less if you feel like it you know if you didn't get good service mm -hmm. whatever uh it but was, that's but it was totally up to you and it was fair if you thought it was or not right and mm -hmm. that's the way it was done mm -hmm. so now let's get into what what i'm calling the dirty little secret with the cruise lines um so some we're gonna fast forward to today <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, sometime, some years ago, and it really wasn't that long ago, most of the cruise lines switched over from the envelope service mm -hmm. to an electronic form where they charge you your gratuity amount per person per day onto your onboard sailing account. Really? And or you could pay your gratuities ahead of time before you book the cruise, right? You can right. you can pay them before you even get on the ship. Okay. The suggested amount. So, here's what's kind of happening. Like, so for your, your room store, for instance, and this is not every single cruise line, but this is this a is good the, chunk of them. Mm -hmm. uh, your room store, for instance, mm -hmm. may make by contract um, $50 per month from the cruise line. That's their base salary. Everything else is predicated upon 
uh, your generosity with gratuities. Or tipping. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, back in the day, when we gave them, you know, say you put $40 a piece in there or whatever, yeah. and you gave it to your room store, that was That's his, so his $80 to them. To them you know, plus whatever the other cabins gave them, mm -hmm. plus their $50. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if they did really good service, they could make a, you know, a decent amount of, of money. Yeah, that's a nice little chunk of change. Yeah, so uh, now with the new system, here's what's going on, guys. With the new system. Fast forward to today. Yes. With the new system, uh, a lot of these tips end up getting pooled with the staff. And so they end what up. What do you mean pooled? What is pools? You know, so the cruise ship is collecting electronically all the tips. Okay, so it's automatically filtering. And, it, and it's on their accounting system on board the ship. Really? Could you break that down for me, Mr. Traveler? You know, so that same $80 that we paid, instead of us giving it to that cabin steward per person per day, mm -hmm. go to XYZ Cruise Line on, to the onboard ship account. And everybody's tips go into that same pool oh and so at the end of the cruise uh, some of those monies that you paid that whole entire eighty dollars that we gave may not go to your room store okay so I book a cruise I pay my gratuities you mean to tell me my housekeeping person or my my uh, room store works hard all week but they don't get that Right. The whole thing. I used to think they did. So now the whole eighty dollars that we gave them before, when we did a cashless system, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know the ratio in there, but they may get seventy dollars now instead of eighty. Oh. But now you times that times every cabin, times every week. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're they're losing out on money, so they're not getting as much money as they got before. So they may take some of that money that was going to your room steward attendant, mm -hmm. and they're giving it to uh, somebody down in the laundry. Uh, to buffer some of their um, pay, y you know. Uh, same thing with the gratuity on the beverage package. It's not all gonna go to the bartender. Some of he's doing a good job with the drink. Some of that's gonna go to the bar manager. You know what I'm saying? So this is the cruise line's way of of making the customer pay more of the salary for the staff. So the, actually, the guests bumps up the salary for the staff workers yes that we don't interact with and we interact with right okay so um i don't know so this is the part where it's a touchy subject right comment below and let <laughs> us know what you think this right here is where it's a touchy where it's a touchy subject for me personally um how how do you handle that i and mm -hmm. i don't know about you guys but like when you go to the dining state when you go to the dining room with a couple of exceptions I, you know, maybe a handful of times. Part of the part of the gratuity program goes towards the Mater D. How many of you have actually interacted or Same. used the Mater D or had to do something with the Mater D? Mm -hmm. Kind of my personal opinion that the Mater D should just be a salary. Me too. I think so. I don't think they were uh, involved in the service, but sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't. But they still get the part of the tips that we actually yeah. put in as a gratuity. And, and, and don't get me wrong, sometimes I think it's very warranted. Like we had sure. the best we one I think that we one. ever had was on the Liberty of the it Sea. Was. Not the, uh, excuse me, uh, the Carnival Liberty. Yeah. Uh, what a great Mater D. Yes. And we had a group on there and he made our, he, made he my, was fantastic. He made my, he made my whole crews. <laughs> he made sure that we all were seated properly. He made sure that the staff was he doing took care things. Of us. He really took care of us. I mean, exceptional service. He and was exceptional. I personally went up to the, him on the last day and tried to give him a nice tip. Mm -hmm. And he and he looked at me and he said, "Give that to my staff." He said it, and that was just over and above. I was I was eyes, blown away. We were blown away. Yeah, but that's. That's not. That's very rare that that the service like that happens. Whereas you can have a major D and you never even meet them. Yeah, I think like if you if you guys been on the really big ships like the Oasis class, mm -hmm. do you even know who your major D is? No, you don't. <laughs> so I, you know, yeah. I unless I, you can have a problem. Yeah. You ask for them. That's, yes. I mean, let's keep it real. Right. <laughs> um, and same thing with the bar managers. Are they making your drinks? Are they right. interacting? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, uh, so, so here's the touchy part. Do you? Uh, there's a couple things you, couple things you could do. Mm -hmm. A, 
you can go down there and remove your tips. You can. That's and kind of frowned upon. You can remove your tips and you have that choice and pay them cash. Mm -hmm. So it's not. And, and listen, we have done that yes, before, have. but I have told because they get reports. Uh, they get their reports for the uh, tipping, and so funny story about that for another video. <laughs> Comment below if you want to hear what happened because there's a funny story behind that. Um, How we found out they get a report. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but we always tell them. So like our room steward, like listen, I'm gonna go down and remove the, these gratuities, and there was reasons behind that. I've only done it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But like the room store, I told him, I'm going down to remove the gratuities. Because we want to pay you extra. And I'm giving you cash, my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, just so you know. Oh, hey, they lit up smile. Now I know why, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so you could you can do that. Remove your gratuities. Pay them cash how you feel fit. Uh, is it, do you want to give them the recommended? Do you want to give them a little extra? Right. Whatever. And then there's some people who just cannot afford it and they can only afford the base pay of the cruise. So they decide to take it off and give them what they think they should have well, that's another choice no well them people make me mad if you don't <laughs> if you don't got enough money to cruise and not give it to the staff then you don't need to cruise i'm, well, I'm just sorry there's people out there that do it because you know, we frown upon it listen if you're if you're gonna happen. cruise if you're gonna cruise budget yourself a couple hundred dollars to give to the to because the people on board they have ship to clean up after us and take care of us right. all week and boy can we tear up a room that yes. that makes me mad when when people do that that's <laughs> yes. a sore they, spot with me they re, they're replacing our towels they're giving us ice they're checking on us they're coming in like little fairies and cleaning up bed is made up when we come back and we soaking wet on the beach uh sandy and everything they clean up all that so mm -hmm. they are worth they definitely worth a tip but it's up to you of how much then your other option would be to leave the tips on there and maybe give your room steward and your dining room staff a little bit extra to make sure. up that difference. We do that more than more than regular. We do yeah. it, we do it quite often. And and I'm more or less of that last option there because mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's not the dishwasher or who's ever partaking in that tipping pool. Mm -hmm. It's not their fault. And they are working, even though they're not directly in contact they're with still us. Working hard. They are working to make our Trip experience mm -hmm. good. Um, and and they're the behind the scenes people, right? Sure. Yep. That's so true. it's not their fault, and I don't want to punish them, you know, because of, of that. So mm -hmm. it's just, uh, you know, it's a touchy subject. So as for us, mm -hmm. we'll take the latter option where you know we'll pay the gratuity and and pay a little bit extra to our to our folks that are servicing us. That's right. I think it's an interesting topic. Comment below and let us know how you feel about it. Did you know that the gratuities are filtered through the ship? Or did you think it was only going to your room store like I did? Right. And also, would you give more of a tip to someone who's over and above and it goes exceptional? Would you rather take your tips off if there's bad service? Comment below and let us know. My understanding with the luxury lines, everything is included, right? Like you, they yeah. don't have their own separate gratuities, do they? They the fare come with. Yeah, most 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 of them uh, will have gratuities included in some kind of way. It's built into the fare, basically. Let's say Windstar, Esmera, and and uh, when you go Oceana. when you go overseas, some of those places mm -hmm. are also in, in, included because it's not necessarily customary to tip in yeah. other like European countries. So sure. sometimes that's automatically kind of rolled into the price, mm -hmm. which I kind of think is eventually down the road is going to happen with even American cruise lines. They're mm -hmm. going to just kind of roll that gratuity into the price. Mm -hmm. Versus uh, Carnival, which is more economical and they allow you to make that decision, but they keep the base fares low. Yeah. I think you may see it from them too. I don't know. It I'm, might I'm, I'm just guessing, but I have a feeling at some point, mm -hmm. you know, they will, they will roll that in there. So, Anyway, guys, that's that's it. Let us know what you think. That's, that's the thing of things. Thank you so much, and we appreciate you listening. And if you're interested in booking your next adventure, give us a call, 877-697-4470, or we could be reached at www.mr-traveler.com. We'll be more than happy to take you off on your next dream vacation. Right, we want to thank you so much for watching. Life short. Have fun. See the world. Gone, see it. Bye, everyone. Ha, ha, ha.